What's up, everybody? How you doing? This is K with K Business Podcast. Today, I have a wonderful guest, one of my favorite YouTube content creators. I actually call him my best friend, even he don't know. <laughs> I might not, I might not be his best friend, but I think I'm his best friend. So, <laughs> let me introduce you to C Over. C Over, the technician. Please introduce yourself, brother. Allow me to reintroduce myself. <laughs> my name is C over D technician and I'm glad to be back here. I'm glad to be here finally again or once again on K's business podcast. Mm -hmm. Salute to you. Thank you Thank for you. inviting me on your channel. I greatly appreciate it. Yes. Yeah. So C over. Yes, I know this is a business. Um, I talk about business, but YouTube is a business. Yes. And is. there's certain things that you have to do um, on your channel to 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 sell to your uh, to your subscribers and to people out there. And um, you have to put things together. And C over is one of the content creators that me myself I've learned so much from him so today we're going to talk about starting your youtube channel so see over before we get into that i want you to give the audience a background your background well my background is a lot of it's multimedia and graphic design uh, my okay. background stems from public broadcasting mm -hmm. uh tv commercials video editing mm -hmm. Graphic arts, graphic, you know, graphic design, graphic communication arts. Mm -hmm. So a lot of multimedia and art is in my background. So uh, it took me a while to get to YouTube. I did upload content on YouTube in, in the past, like in early days of YouTube. Mm -hmm. But I was making content and just not simply not putting it on YouTube. But it took me a while to get to YouTube. But once I got to YouTube, uh, you know, the learning curve for me wasn't as steep as it is for for most creators because you know my, my experience allowed mm -hmm. me to pretty much circumvent the uh the things that a lot of other creators go through when it when it comes to them learning how to make content so i already learned how to make use cameras lighting equipment i learned and taught myself how to edit mm -hmm. i already know how to use all the camera equipment all the lighting equipment all the video editing softwares i I've learned how to use about six or seven different video editing softwares, mm. including Final Cut Pro. Mm. So the software, the editing, it, it was never that steep of a curve for me, understanding the concepts of lighting and things like that. It just, whenever I get in front of uh, something new, I just need to figure out where the button goes when you want to click it, and then I figure out the rest. And that's how we got to, where well, I got to where I am now when it came to streaming. Uh, it was a process. I had to learn how to use the software. Mm -hmm. And as I keep practicing, keep improving, and I improve every day, and I'm, I'm where I'm at now. So that's, in, in a nutshell, that's my background. Yeah. And, and you know, <laughs> I was on your channel. I was watching because I watch, I watch a lot of, I watch a lot of your uh, streams. Um, mm -hmm. And one, one thing I did, uh, one thing that you did, um, touch on was you don't have to get the top notch equipment to start no. a YouTube channel, no. you know, because you see, you know, people will see the Kevin Samuels and these other content creators. Mm -hmm. They're like, you know what? Maybe I should go get the same thing. Maybe I'll be successful. So if somebody's starting a YouTube channel, what what type of, um, you know, uh, direction would you give them? Like if they say, hey, see over, I want to start a YouTube channel. What type of equipment? What do I need? You know, for one. your audience, um, the Kevin Samuel the Kevin Samuels exam examples work. Um, for everyone else, like on, on, on other parts of YouTube, there's the MKBHD, there's the Casey Nine Stat, there's the Think Media, mm -hmm. there's the um, uh, the other names. Uh, forget me. Uh, um, Gerald Undone. All these uh, creators who who have these uh, what's the girl? I Justine. All these creators have these mm -hmm. beautiful. Uh, setups, but it takes time to get there, right? Yes. So, um, the first the first way to get started is is with this. Yes, 
That's how I got started. <laughs> yeah. You just use your phone, mm -hmm. um, whatever phone you got, any any modern era phone in the 2020, in the 2010s can do 1080p 30. That's mm -hmm. literally all you need. 1080p 30 can, to get you through the door. Then you can do 1080p 60, or you can do mm -hmm. 4K 30. That's literally all you need mm -hmm. to get it cracking on YouTube. That You don't even need um, the lights and none of that, right? You mm -hmm. just need a camera. Two, right? Then there's the lighting, right? Mm -hmm. So you can use your living room, your office lighting, your your kitchen, wherever it had, wherever you got good lighting to do what you got to do, right? Mm -hmm. You can you just start there. The, the the thing that holds people back and gets people confused is when it comes to you need gear to create content, right? Mm -hmm. And you don't need gear to create content; mm -mm. you just need content. Mm -hmm. to create content you just need <laughs> the idea to create content mm -hmm. so when it comes to starting a, a youtube channel uh getting started on uh tiktok instagram facebook twitch you just need to use the camera that you have available to you now mm -hmm. if we're talking about twitch yeah you get a little 1080p webcam you call it a day but you can use your phone as a webcam mm -hmm. so does that too you can also use your phone as a webcam correct so, so once you have the proper lighting and in, in, in a, in a decent camera you're good to go. That's true. That's true. Um, a lot of people start like when I started on YouTube, I was recording from the car. Yeah, a lot of people do car <laughs> videos, um, garage videos. Mm -hmm. I've seen I've seen YouTube channels um, where they're using just a, a basic cell phone and they have mm -hmm. over half a million subscribers. Yeah, a lot of content creators actually sell their cameras. For whatever reason, I would never do this, but they do it. <laughs> they sell their cameras and they downgrading and continue to use their phone to make content. Mm -hmm. There's creators that do that. Yeah. So, um, when you go, when you double down on your phone, however, um, there, there are things that you need to buy to make your content, you know, quality more efficient, right? So we use mm -hmm. a phone. You got to use a gimbal or mm -hmm. a tripod and a slider. You got to use the. Uh, make sure, let me see if I have it on me. <laughs> I usually have it here. There we go. When you're using, um, when you're making content with your phone, the most important mm -hmm. thing that you can that you can buy mm -hmm. for the phone is is this guy right here. Okay. Okay. That is a um, lavalier mic. So oh, okay. a lavalier mic plugs into the three point five millimeter jack at the bottom mm -hmm. of a phone. Most phones don't come with that jack anymore, so you got to plug it into the USB dongle that mm -hmm. converts into 3.5 okay. millimeter jack. And therefore, once you do that, that gives you Good a sound. quality recording mic that mm. far that 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 far outpaces the mics that are on the phone that you have, whatever phone you got. Mm. Wow! Wow! I mean, there's a lot. There's a lot of tools that you can use mm -hmm. uh, starting YouTube. I, there's, there's another tool that I I I um, also learned from you, which was um, Epidemic Sounds. Oh man! I, I was <laughs> oh gosh, I was using some. I would use some audio. Like I would just go on Amazon and buy uh, some music, and I'll mm -hmm. put it in my my videos on my content, and I'll get like a claim. And one day I was watching. Um, your one of your streams and you were like just go to epidemic sounds and and pay your 15 dollars a month and you know and and download all the all the sounds Listen, that you like 5.8 gigs of music mm -hmm. download all the songs I, I mean like the easiest thing there are some things on youtube that are just that are just caveman simple right mm -hmm. Obviously, you can't play copyright music on, on your channel, right? You some things you'll get a claim, some things you'll get, get a strike. Hit, you won't get a strike, but okay. you'll get hit so hard is that the, the video get blocked worldwide. Okay, that's true. Right. Regions, right? Mm -hmm. So there's claims and then the strikes. Mm -hmm. Strikes are because of egregious amounts of claims mm -hmm. or an egregious level of copyright, you know, infringement. Mm -hmm. But it, the easiest thing to do. Is to not is to play copyright free music and not play copyrighted music. Now, mm -hmm. Epidemic Sound, there are various different systems that offer copyright free music, and there are creators who offer copyright free music that is originally created. The best 
option that I have come across mm-hmm. is Epidemic Sounds. Due to yes. their genre and their library and their collection of songs, it, it just it's it's flawless. Like you can You can't you can beat just, that. No, I can't. I, I I've been looking. Um I cannot beat it. I honestly cannot beat it. I can't mm. there aren't many things out there that really beat how simple and efficient epidemic sounds is and just simply a purchasing that and i was telling people about epidemic sounds back in like 2017 really um, yeah i was I've, I've been trying to tell people about epidemic sounds for like years uh people only care because they heard the kevin samuel song um, which is not mm-hmm. even his song it's just a song from it is this a song he got it from there exactly yeah i, I listen the reason why i, I the, the reason why i found that out because i was scrolling i don't know why my camera's doing that so i'm just gonna make it focus point there we go mm-hmm. uh I, I i was scrolling through a genre of soul and r&b and epidemic sounds and i came across the song and i was like wait a minute that sounds familiar and then i went and i played it back and i looked and said oh that's just that's the song that he uses but yeah you would think that song was actually created for him you Listen, know what I'm saying? You can have a song created for you too. It on fire. Yeah. You can have that, but that's the true. thing is that's true. You have to be mindful that the that the artist that's making the song is using Doesn't it, still. Mm-hmm. original original created sounds. If they're using any samples from another um re- copyrighted artist, then your song's copyright claim is invalid. And then they can go ahead and claim the copyright on, on your on your videos that, that are playing that sound. So mm-hmm. it's it's very it's very tricky, but epidemic sounds just solves a lot of problems for creators that are trying to figure out the music. And again, fifteen dollars, um, you know, it's it's not a lot of money, but mm-hmm. it is a, a monthly expense. So if if you're not willing to to, to pay that, there are free options. Mm-hmm. You just have to do your due diligence to make sure that you're that you're able to use those free options and that you don't have you won't have any hiccups in the long run. Absolutely. Wow. And um guys, if um if you uh have not subscribed to uh see over, I will definitely put his link in the description so you guys can uh subscribe to him. So um so somebody starts a YouTube channel, mm. right? Now you have various options of creating content. Well, before you even start the YouTube channel, okay. you have to figure out what you want to what's what's the channel gonna be about. That's true. You know, right. some people just cut on the camera and just talk or be. No, I mean right? the thing is mm-hmm. like you have to have an idea idea mm-hmm. right not to say this is what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do just have an idea of what you want to do correct right? and, and then and then flow like that like when i first started streaming i was talking about nonsense right but mm-hmm. i wanted but then i realized quickly that, okay i want to i, I kind of want to talk about tech so i started mixing in things with tech so sometimes i i may vary from from i used to vary from tech but now mm-hmm. i strictly just focus on you know tech now there are different ways to you, you have to you can niche down or there are different aspects to tech not all of tech is about uh phone reviews right mm-hmm. and headphone reviews this isn't tech this isn't the only thing about tech right mm-hmm. tech and, and youtube so my my content is a combination of a couple of topics however you know my co- my my goal and my focus so my the second point the type of content I do is tech related to content creators who are looking for things to be made technically simple for them so that they can understand the complexities of acquiring gear, software, and understanding things with their channel when it comes to uploading and, and streaming on YouTube and social media as a whole. Mm-hmm. Right. So my type of content that I do is to really help and assist creators. Mm-hmm. Right. So in your journey of, of making content, you eventually should be able to figure out the type of content that you really want to hone in on, mm-hmm. what your channel is, is about. Mm-hmm. And then you can go on to how to produce that content. Now, mm-hmm. the, the, the production of the content can be done many ways. Right. There's live streaming mm-hmm. and there's repurposing the live stream, which is cutting them up, reuploading them into shorts and, and smaller formats and clips. Mm-hmm. Then there's regular uploading, and then there's just concurrent live streaming. Just leave the live streaming there. So all the choices are at your disposal, and, and, and don't let anyone put you in a box. Right? There's a lot of creators who create a coaches 
who would you know try to get people to, to put them in a box right and mm-hmm. i don't like to put people in a box because i don't really fit in a box very well mm-hmm. right so do whatever you want to do you can do you can make you can do whatever you want to do on youtube that is that that is in that is within their policy in terms of guidelines mm-hmm. but you can do whatever you want on youtube you just have to have a strategy and the structure behind what you're doing as long as you have a strategy and structure behind what you're doing mm-hmm. you you should be golden yeah <laughs>